Hey guys, I hope you're doing fine. This is Ankit Bhatti and welcome back to my channel. Now today we're gonna be talking about another video editing tutorial that is color grading how I color grade my videos a lot of people have been requesting me to make this video so finally I am making this one and here is how it goes think about it you went out and you recorded some videos and you came back home and you open up your laptop and you see this video and you think like this video is not gonna look good at all I'm just gonna throw this away but you decided to put a little bit efforts and this is your final look it is looking so good so that's what I'm going to teach you today. So let's go to the Premiere Pro and let's start color grading tutorial. So this is the video that we're going to grade. Wait, it's already graded. Let me remove it. And this is the original one. So we're going to start with this video and we're going to convert something like this. Yes. So if you are recording in a log footage, like maybe drawn with D-Log, Sony, S-Log, Canon, C-Log, you're going to see something like this. So before starting the color grading, the first thing that you need to do is you just need to go to the window and get a Lumetri Scops. So that's how we're going to start. Now you can see that it's lying between the range of 40 to 70. Now, if you want to grade it, it should lie somewhere between 10 to 80 or 90. But for my color grading style, it should be somewhere from 0 to 70 or 80. So that's what we're going to create today. Now let's go here and get an adjustment layer and drag it onto the top. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the limitry panel and make an adjustment here. So before starting that, let's go to the limitry scopes. And if you cannot see your Lumetri panel, you can go here and get a Lumetri color and you will see that. Now let me tell you that the shadows lies in between the range of 0 to 20 and your highlights between the range of 80 to 100. So now the shadows is at 40, we have to decrease the shadows. So let's just decrease that here. Now you can see that it's, it's almost at 20 or 30 and decrease the blacks also. And now increase the contrast to give it a little bit of wide spectrum. Just increase the contrast that's it I like the highlights between the range of 70 to 80 so I'm not gonna touch highlight although I can increase a bit yeah that's it till 80 it's fine now I'm gonna go to the color wheel to decrease the shadows further as we have decreased the shadows till minus 100 in basic correction and now we can not decrease further so we're gonna go to the color wheel and decrease the shadows here see how the spectrum is changing now we have got down till 0 to 10 so that's that's what I like it and you can decrease the midtones as well a little bit that's fine and increase the highlights a bit yeah that's it it's 70 to 80 it's fine now just turn this off and on to see how much we have graded see this is before and this is after it's already looking good but we have to do a lot of adjustment here go to the creative tab now sorry go to the curves tab now and go to the RGB curve and then make a S curve here let's just drag it and create that yeah that's it now you can see that the shadows is starting at almost zero and the highlights is at 80 so that's that's my style that's what i like it you can increase the highlights see you can play around it i'm gonna keep it like here so this is the s curve now we have done a lot of changes see the before and after till this point it's already looking good you can export the video and you will be good to go but what i like to do here is i like to grade it with luts luts are basically if you want to change the colors of the video let's say it's looking green and you want to change a particular color and you want to make it look like yellow or just want to change the color so that's how you can apply the LUT and change the color so let's go here and apply my LUT here base LUT open it and it's looking even better now so that's the benefit of LUT and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and search here under Lumetri and drag this Lumetri panel and we have got this another Lumetri so this was the first one this is the before and this is after we're gonna name it as base base grade so this is my base grade and now i'm gonna go and apply my final lut here let's go here and browse and apply the final lut don't worry i know that it's not looking good but we're gonna make it look good just change the intensity to around and 75 looks good but we're gonna go back to the basic correction and change a little bit here 
let's make it a little bit yellow yeah till 15 it's no till 10 is fine and also i'm gonna change a little bit of shadows a little bit of blacks let's go to the lumetri scopes yeah that looks good i guess that looks good to me so you can keep making the adjustment to make it look better that's what i do all the time oh first of all let me rename this and we can give a little bit of fade look here yeah just 10 would be fine and that's how I grade with my LUTs. Now if you want these LUTs, I'll let you know at the end of this video how you can get this LUT for free. So watch this video till the end and I'll make sure you'll get this LUT. Now the next thing we can do here is if you think it's looking a little bit black here, you can go again to the Lumetri panel and drag it here and just go 20%, create a mask, okay? And mask it feather, that's it. You know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna increase the exposure. Yeah, that's it. Now see the before and after. This is before and this is after. And the last step that you can do is you can go here and apply the Vignetti as well. Increase the midpoints, increase the roundness to 100, increase the feather to 100. See before and after. So that's all I do to grade my videos. Also, you can apply the crop here to give it a cinematic look. So yeah that's all i do now let me show you the before and after it's it's awesome it's it's looking amazing let me give you another example how i can use my luts and see that so this is an another example what i'm gonna do here is check this lumetri scopes and and especially for this one i'm gonna decrease the highlights to give it a moody look and decrease the blacks decrease the shadows decrease the whites and increase the contrast that's all yeah that's it and now i'm gonna go and apply my lut here base lit the same way see it's it's looking good already this is the video that we started with and just applying after my one lut and now i'm gonna go to the creative tab and apply my another lut this is the final lut and it's looking amazing so if you want you can increase a little bit of shadows a little bit of contrast so you can make an adjustment accordingly whatever you want that's how you can do it and now you can see that it's lying between the range of 10 to 80 or 90 so that should be your goal or you can change the intensity of the LUT to make it a little more <laughs> different look and increase the shadows whatever you like to do you can do it or you can change the little bit of temperature and a little bit of green and decrease the intensity of the LUT so that's that's all I do this is the video that we started off with and this is the final result now you can see that how the color grading affect your video how you can change the look of the video so guys whenever you're editing your video make sure you grade your videos and that's all so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have learned something from it. And if you do, then hit a like button. And I also want to say the one thing that I am selected as one of the winner of the YouTube Next Up event that is happening next month. And I'm going there and that all happened because of you guys. You have you guys have supported me so much. So as a thank you, I want to give away these LUTs for free that I've used in this video. All you have to do is leave a comment that why you need these LUTs with your email ID. And if you comment within the two days of the upload, then I'll make sure to send away these LUTs on the third day to all of you you who will comment with their email id and why they need it and if you're watching this video later on then i'll put up a link in the description you can go ahead and purchase these lads so with that said i'll see you next time till then take care bye bye Shh.